If you drive northwest out of Columbia, South Carolina, and I'm going to admit something, I actually have not done this myself, you will eventually come to a teeny tiny little town called Little Mountain, South Carolina. Uh, there it is. You can see it on the map there. Little Mountain, South Carolina. Population, 292 people. Little Mountain has a single stoplight, just one. And Little Mountain has a big job opening, mayor. There is currently no mayor in Little Mountain, which is uh, odd. The mayor manages about a $90,000 budget, not nothing, plus state grants for school improvements and an elder care facility. Uh, there's also the Little Mountain Reunion, a folk festival, which draws around 10,000 people, big for Little Mountain, and which the mayor is supposed to help organize. Little Mountain seems to really need a mayor. And yet, nobody ran for the office in November when the 16-year incumbent retired. And the top two write-in candidates, they've both turned the job down. They don't want to be mayor. Marty Frick uh, is a maintenance supervisor, and 67 of his fellow Little Mountainites wrote him in. But Mr. Frick used to serve on the town council, and his wife is having some health issues. And after considerable and solemn consideration, he declined. The retiring mayor, Buddy Johnson, he was second in the voting. He got 20. Uh, he is retiring, though. He doesn't want to do it. Mickey Mouse and Snoop Dogg also received votes, but one is a cartoon mouse and the other is Snoop Dogg. Although I would like to meet the Little Mountain resident who is a big fan of West Coast gangster rap. Uh, all this would seem to point to Melvin Bowers, the ranking member of the town council. But Mr. Bowers' wife is also having a couple health issues and he declined the gig. The town plans now to hold a special election in March and it hopes that someone, anyone, is going to be willing to be mayor. Uh, this right here, it's a story of sort of government and politics and, and small town life. Uh, Mr. Frick, the leading right in vocator, told the New York Times that politics has lost its luster even in small towns. Oh, gee, I wonder why. Thank you, Washington.